YouTube, what's good, man? It's your boy AB, man, and I'm back at y'all with another video. And in today's video, as y'all see by the title and the thumbnail, I am bringing y'all my AMG C43 2022 Coupe Car Tour, which I know y'all have seen a lot about this car, and I've done a lot of things in the past previous videos, whether that be POVs or just the first things that I got done to my car, like put the stickers on there and put the stars in the car. So, yeah, I'll go more into depth about that, but for my returning viewers and all my new viewers, which if y'all did come from last video because i know that video did get a lot of views but yeah for all my returning viewers y'all do know i did put the stickers on the side of the car and put the stars in the back seat and i guess you could just say the headline i don't know why i said the back seat but yeah man let's uh go ahead and get straight into this car tour if y'all are new make sure y'all like comment subscribe turn on post notifications hit the bell if you are new so you never miss a great upload just like this one and yeah man let's go to jump straight into this car tour man Getting straight into this video, I do want to go over the outside of the car first. And just a couple of things I like about the car on the outside. Being that this is a car tour, I'm pretty much going to talk about everything that I like about the car. And just everything that I enjoy about this car, man. Because this is a great car. Even with all the problems that it comes with. And if y'all just saw me swiping, I'm swiping at a bug. Because where I am, there is a lot of bugs. And yeah, I'm kind of in just like trees, I guess you could say. But the first thing that I love about this car, man, I would definitely have to say it would be the 19-inch matte black rims. Even though they can be a hassle to clean, like you really got to like scrub these rims. Uh, which if y'all can't tell, I already did get a car wash early today just for this video. And yeah, so they are pretty like... I really feel like they give the car like a nice accent in a sense because it's just like the matte black rims they just like i don't know i really don't know too much about the rims yet so i'm not gonna say too much all i know is that they're 19s and that the colorway is matte black so i really love the rims on this car and i don't know why but my caliber bro i cannot manage to get my caliber all the way clean so yeah don't be on my head too bad about the calibers because sometimes i do struggle to get them clean even with everything that i try like i said matte black rims are kind of hard to clean to me so the second thing that i recently added to the car would have to be the stickers if y'all don't know my car does have an instagram and i take a lot of pictures for the car and things like that so yeah that's the instagram that's also down below in the description so y'all can go follow that instagram next i would definitely have to say which I want to change this. Y'all let me know down below in the comments if I should change this. But it would have to be the chrome accessories that AMGs come with. Like the chrome Mercedes sign, the chrome C43 sign, and the chrome AMG sign. I want to go ahead and murder the car out though. So I'm thinking that I will be changing those to black pretty soon. As y'all see, I do have another AMG uh, ABS sticker over here. Uh, same thing pretty much with the rims. But I do want to do a full chrome delete on this car. I haven't really thought about not really like well i mean i don't really know necessarily what all i need to do to fully like get the car to where i want to yeah i guess you could say is what i'm trying to say so yeah i don't really know everything that i want to do with the car but i do know that i want to do a chrome delete and make everything like matte black and black the car out and murder it out so that would require me to lower my tent because if y'all don't know which y'all probably don't know because I wasn't recording at this time. But I did like crack my windshield so I don't have tint on the front. So I used to have like 25 or 30 on the front. And used to be like able to not even see in. Alright, so I got y'all down here in a good little spot. I'm going to go ahead and give y'all a little warm start or whatever. So, 
hopefully y'all can hear me over the exhaust because i do have performance exhaust on the amg which if i'm not mistaken the car did come with performance exhaust so yeah hopefully y'all can still hear me y'all should be able to because it's not that loud it's not as loud as i want it yet so yeah but here is what it sounds like so close to home but yeah man getting to the inside of the car like what i was talking about at first the first thing which i would have to say that i love about this car which if y'all can already tell would definitely have to be the stars which if y'all didn't watch my last video i have it up here somewhere or something like that but yeah go watch that video because i did end up getting stars put in the car and as y'all see i got my girl's little seat cover thing or whatever that i ended up getting her um just because she's always with me and i'm not gonna lie like she always with me so yeah that's why i just went ahead just got this because i felt like it added to the aesthetic of the car and just because i also wanted to do it for her. but i would definitely have to say the stars is one of my favorite things that i've done to the car so far which let me grab the remote right quick so if y'all don't know stars most of the time if you go to the right people and y'all don't get solid color stars it comes with a remote and you can change the colors of the stars and personally i keep mine on white and blue and pink and purple but personally if i'm just running around like on an everyday basis i just have my white and they have two different white modes so you have the bright mode and then you also have the brighter mode which if i'm not mistaken you also have multiple modes which i didn't get the shooting stars put in the car but i did get like the stars uh so you got twinkle mode meteor mode and other things like that but i didn't get the shooting stars i do want to eventually do that so but I'm not looking to do that anytime soon because these stars were expensive, which if y'all want to know how much the stars were and all that, I can get into all that. Y'all just got to ask me. But next thing would have to be what comes with the car, which is the key, which this is my key right here, which is kind of beat up. I'm not going to lie because I kind of do drop my key like from here and there. But this is a red key cover. I'm not going to tell y'all where I got it from. Y'all can go and find it because and, and yes, my bad for gatekeeping. But yes, I do want to be like one of the few with this key so and which i'm changing it very soon because i did see somebody with the same key cover so yeah next if we get into like the inner side of the car which i know the engine lights on don't worry about that that's because of something i previously did to the car and also it's because of gas like when i get bad gas i don't know if y'all have ever gotten bad gas but if you get bad gas sometimes that can happen to you so yeah that will probably be off by the end of the day um but next thing i would definitely have to say i made a short about this would be the paddle shifter extenders which these are red carbon fiber paddle shifter extenders and yeah there's not really too much that i have done to the steering wheel other than this right here i did change this from the original i just ended up putting this on here so this is not how all the amg 243s come i did add this and the paddle shifter extenders which another thing i love about this car man so as y'all see we have the dynamic select button which if y'all look right there hopefully y'all can see behind those pictures but they are basically like you can change the modes of the car and stuff like that and i love how i don't have to every time i want to change the mode of the car i don't have to go here i could just come to the steering wheel and change it which i don't know if y'all can also hear that over me talking but the valves do close and open depending on what mode you're in and also if you're in regular like comfort mode or eco mode which i made the eco mode all you got to do is come over here to the vehicle and then go to dynamic select and you can customize all that and basically eco mode is when you just put the engine in reduced and leave everything normal but yeah so i'm just glad that i can open and close the valves when i want to which is this button right here and it basically opens and closes the valves and i'm not gonna lie i love that the car can sound different even though the car will always be loud even with the valves closed which i kind of don't understand that so if anybody does understand that please explain that in the comments but I love that I can make the car louder or make it a little bit quieter just depending on if I want the valves open or closed. And this car does, you know, it gets it gets kind of loud. I'm not going to lie. I'll probably throw in a little clip if I have one off of the highway or something like that. But I love how loud this car gets and it's kind of like almost perfect. But And y'all let me know. I've been thinking about downpiping the car. I really want to downpipe this car, but I don't want it to be like overly like just obnoxiously loud so y'all let me know if y'all think i should do that but like another thing that i love about this car along with the knob right here where you can change from sports plus stuff like that is you can also change the buttons down here pretty much you can change them over here which if i'm not mistaken this comes on all the newer amgs because they do have the amg steering wheel that comes with the knobs on the side and things like that but i can change the car from manual 
we also got i guess this button is like the button where you send out a light and the car will like cut off and then until you go or whatever this is the valve button right here and then that is traction and then we got suspension so you pretty much got everything you need right here on the steering wheel and you don't have to do it over here which i mean pretty much everything that's over here is on the steering wheel and i really love that about this car because it's really like easily accessible and things like that and y'all probably can't see it right now but i do have it on red which is ambient lighting that came with the car it also is in the corners right here but yeah that came with the car it's up under the doors and it's also in the back seat in the back but yeah i really love the clay guts that i have the red clay guts and the reason i say they're red clay guts is because it's not really like a bright red like the red that will come in like an amg gt 63 but i would definitely say i love this color and it's kind of a unique color and i just love it a lot man so i would definitely say i love the inside of the car even though it's kind of small um as y'all see right here i don't really have a back seat really i mean i can make one necessarily if i needed to like if i needed to fit four people in here i could by just moving the seats up and things like that but i got another charger two seats and then some camera gear back here that i normally keep with me and i really do one thing okay now let me get into that one thing i love about most cars and not specifically amgs but like most sports cars and most cars that like i guess you could say have mats like hold on, let me show y'all one second most cars that have mats like the AMG mats and things like that is they come with the weather mats. So basically, I can mess up these mats for now. Not mess them up because I try to keep them clean. But I would definitely say I would rather have the weather mats on than just have the straight AMG out. And the reason I say that is because I don't want to mess those up just in case, like, I ever want to do, like, a photo shoot with a car or just anything like that. I normally try to keep them pretty clean. So I love that I have the weather mats. And... Yeah, it's not really too much to talk about on the inside of the car that's left other than, I guess you could say, I do have the normal air, which if y'all don't know what I mean by the normal air filters or whatever, I don't, these are not air filters, these are basically the things. Basically, I don't have what most AMGs come with nowadays, which is the LED light uh, air things, which I want them, but I gotta figure out how I can get them in the car. And I also wanna change this to carbon fiber and make this carbon fiber. But y'all let me know some ideas and things that I should do to the car. Like I said, there's a lot of things I wanna do. And there's a lot that I have coming and planned for this car. But I would definitely say, if y'all have any other ideas for me, drop them down below. And yeah, there's not really too much to talk about with the inside of this car. I was thinking about giving y'all a POV, but this video is kind of lengthy. And I just kind of wanted to show y'all the car. So, if I do feel like doing a POV, then I'll probably double upload instead of putting it into this video. But yeah, man, hopefully y'all really did enjoy this car tour video. Like I said, I know it wasn't too much, but I did want to kind of change up the videos just because I have been doing a lot of POVs lately and just a lot of other things that, you know, have been revolved around my car. And that's pretty much what's going to be on this channel, cars and more like lifestyle content, like vlogs and things like that. But this is the end of the video. So hopefully y'all enjoyed this video, man. It's being boy official AB and I'm out, man.